Ali, what do the numbers say about where the money's coming from for stocks and what's happening with bonds? Well, you know, it certainly is not coming from bonds, and that's I think that's the underlying uh, premise here is, you know, a lot of people were thinking that there's going to be a, a big rotation. People are going to get rid of their bond funds, buy equity funds. But what we're finding is that about $100 billion, this is your day, $100 billion coming into equity funds, and at the same time about $108 billion have flowed into fixed income. Where we're thinking it's coming with $124 billion outflows in money market funds is from underneath the mattress, savings accounts, and other places they've been stashing money for the last year or two. And Tom, within the equity side, are we talking ETFs or mutual funds? And you know, right now we're talking uh, exchange traded. Uh, I'm sorry, uh, um, uh, mutual funds on their own, 100, 100 uh, billion dollars in that new money. If I included ETFs, it would be 140 billion dollars in that new money year to date so far. So even ETFs have not been as in favor as mutual funds have been as of late. So how does what we've seen so far compare to what we saw, say, last year? Well, you know, it's really, and that's, a, that's the tale of two cities that we've seen. Uh, equity funds saw about, I'm going to say somewhere in about $129 billion of outflows last year. And this is, again, just mutual funds on their own. But we take a look at the uh, fixed income funds, and we're seeing just, you know, drastic increases in the amount of money, you know, over $200 billion in that new money coming into the coffers of the fixed income uh, funds. And this has been going on for about the last four years. Where we've seen a large amount of fixed income uh, intake and then a lot of money flowing out of the uh, equity arena, primarily from large cap funds.